Project 11A. Draw venous blood using a vacuum tube. Use the venipuncture trainer to simulate drawing blood and follow the steps as if in a real clinical situation. Before starting this phlebotomy procedure, first, greet the patient and introduce yourself. Pause to confirm that you have positively identified the correct patient and that you are performing the correct procedure. Second, ask the patient questions regarding possible allergies, bleeding disorders, etc., and ensure that your patient is in a comfortable and suitable position for the procedure. Third, verify relevant information like fasting, dietary restrictions, and medication, and note the answers on the lab requisition form. Now, follow these steps. Open a clean work surface cover, then gather, open, and assemble the relevant items and equipment on the cover. Set all of the tubes you need in the correct sequence for drawing the blood. Tear open an alcohol prep swab sachet. Attach the vacutainer needle to the vacutainer hub or use the Autosafe Safety Vacutainer phlebotomy device, which has a safety needle pre-assembled to the hub. Perform hand hygiene. Select the site by inspection and palpation, preferably in the cubital area. Temporarily apply a tourniquet to facilitate vein selection if necessary. When ready to draw the blood, apply the tourniquet about four to five finger widths above the selected venipuncture site. Ask the patient to form a fist to make the veins more prominent. Don't ask the patient to pump the fist. Don clean, non-sterile gloves. Disinfect the site using an alcohol prep swab for 30 seconds and allow to dry completely for another 30 seconds. Do not touch the site once the alcohol has been applied. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm and placing the thumb of the opposite hand below the venipuncture site. Do not bend the needle. Ensure that the bevel of the needle is pointing up. Enter the vein swiftly at a 15 to 30 degree angle. While supporting the vacutainer tube holder, push the vacutainer tube into the hub and check for blood flow. Allow the tube to fill, then remove it from the tube holder, all the time gently supporting the tube holder to prevent the needle from slipping out of the vein. When blood flow stops, Remove the tube by holding the hub securely and pulling the tube off of the needle. If the tube used has additives, mix the contents by gently inverting the tube five to eight times. Do not shake. Fill remaining tubes and repeat the mixing routine after each tube has been filled. Once sufficient blood has been collected, release the tourniquet before withdrawing the needle. Gently withdraw the needle and place a clean gauze pad or dry cotton wool ball with strapping on the site. Apply firm pressure to achieve hemostasis and avoid a hematoma. Inspect the site after two or three minutes to ensure that the bleeding has stopped. Discard sharps, the used needles, broken glass and syringe or blood sampling device into a puncture-resistant sharps container. Place items such as used gloves and all items contaminated with blood or body fluids into the infectious waste. Check labels and forms for accuracy. Perform hand hygiene. View a clinical example of this procedure. You may notice slight differences in the procedural steps due to individual preference or variation in protocol. Are you ready to start practicing this skill? 
go ahead, set up your venipuncture trainer for practicing phlebotomy and have fun.